Welcome and thanks for joining us. Our topic for this uh, session will be why do leaves change their colors? Well, it all has to do with the changing of the seasons that we see every year and throughout the year. And as we head from summer into fall, the daylight hours actually get shorter. And that does have an effect on the leaves and the trees. And that's why those trees lose their leaves. They change colors and then lose their leaves. Well, we have to look at the science in the leaves and why they, they change their colors. Well, the leaves are, they have pigments, or different types of pigments. Uh, there's chlorophyll pigments that give the leaves their green color. There's carotenoids that give the leaves their yellow and orange color. There's anthocyanins that give it its red color. And there's tannins that give it its brown color. All these pigments are in those leaves at the same time, but the predominant color that we usually see, or typically we see in the warm season, or spring and summer, is the chlorophyll. That's the chlorophyll production in the leaves that give it its green color. But as we start losing daylight hours, the trees respond to that decreasing amount of sunlight by producing less and less chlorophyll pigment. And when that chlorophyll pigment goes away, eventually the tree uh, stops that uh, chlorophyll production and we start seeing the carotenoids, the anthocyanins, and the tannins that are already in the leaves, they finally show their true colors and they start coming out with these brilliant and bright different colors in the fall. Yellows and oranges and reds and, and sometimes browns. So the best conditions for fall color or for the trees to really show their their true colors is we look for a warm and wet spring to start off the growing season. We get that chlorophyll production uh, going uh, throughout the spring and summertime. Then we want a summertime that uh, is not too hot or dry, but a normal rainfall or a little bit above normal is, is good for that. Then in the fall, we like to see plenty of warm sunny days and cool crisp nights. And the cool nights down into the 40s and sometimes 30s without getting a severe frost or freeze is the most ideal. So as you look at the peak or the average fall foliage peak times across the country, it's again it's sooner up across the northern tier states and in the mountain west and a little bit later down across the southern United States. But here in the Missouri Ozarks we typically see our fall peak foliage sometime in the mid to late October range. And the different uh, type of leaves have different type of colors, where oaks usually give a brown or red color, hickories are usually golden bronze, dogwoods are usually purplish red, and maples range from yellows to orange and reds as well. Around the state, again, there's different types of trees depending on your topography and dep depending on your geographical area around the state. But typically in the Delta area, there's more oaks and hickories and cottonwoods. And up in the more rugged terrain or higher terrain, uh, there's usually a mixture of hardwoods, pines, and cedars. Now, on a normal summer, you typically have your uh, production of chlorophyll with uh, abundant amount of rainfall and on an average fall in the cooler weather that breaks down revealing the fall colors and, and the brilliant uh, changes of those colors. But if you have a drought like what we saw in the fall of 2012 with the lack of water and the effort to conserve water, the trees lose some of their color. They don't, they don't, uh, are not able to produce some of their colors so it kind of it dulls their color in the fall because of the lack of water in the leaves. And that's what we saw in the fall of 2012. Right now, uh, for the fall of 2013, we're doing okay with water. We're not really in a drought. We have had some good rains recently, so uh, maybe this, this year's color will be a little bit better than what we saw last year. So here's some websites for more information. You can check out the Missouri Department of Conservation's website on more information about fall colors and fall colors around the state. You can check out the U.S. Forest Service as well for their uh, information about fall color 2013. You can also check out the website, the Ozark Fall Foliage Color Report, which will be updated later on uh, throughout the season for the latest information of fall col color around our area. Thanks for joining us and have a great day.